Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover how to record a drum kit with a single microphone. This is a pretty common thing you might run into in the home studio, especially with limited time and equipment to get the recording done, and the results can actually be pretty decent as we'll see in this video if you're careful about it. First let's start with why we would do this. A lot of people recording at home don't have the necessary equipment to record with a full set of drum microphones, which is a situation that can require more than 8 microphones and inputs in some cases. Also, there are a lot of entry-level audio interfaces out there with a single microphone input. This technique will allow these musicians to record their own acoustic drum kit without too much of an equipment upgrade. It's also really quick to just get some ideas down, whereas a multi-microphone technique can easily take over an hour to set up. For this video, all of our recordings are done with an Audio-Technica AT2020 for the microphone, which is a large diaphragm condenser microphone, and a Focusrite Scarlett at 20 but you can test this out with whatever audio interface and microphone you have access to. Some limitations we get from this setup is that it's going to be a mono signal, and we can't adjust the individual levels of parts of the kit since they're not isolated, so we have to make sure we play balanced. We also need the kit to sound at its best in the room, so I used a TuneBot to tune it and some Moon Gel to cut back on some of the resonance. Let's get started with the recording setup. I'll place the microphone somewhere between the mid and floor tom to my right. This will allow me to point it at the snare, hi-hat, and kick all together, which are the parts of the kit that I really want to emphasize. It'll also make it so the cymbal is behind it, which is one of the loudest parts of my kit, so the cardioid pattern of the microphone will reduce that. Let's listen to what this sounds like. So this is pretty good, it's a good balance we can hear all the parts of the kit well, except for maybe a little too much of the floor tom for my testing, but that can be adjusted with the playing style. The AT2020 also does a decent job of picking up the kit kind of as it sounds in the room, but you can't really emphasize the bass of the kick and it's missing some of the crisp snap of the snare that we get with the full setup. Next I'm just changing the microphone position and angling it down slightly, just to point it a little less at the snare and to get a little more of the low end from the kick drum. So overall, not a bad setup for a quick drum recording, but not spectacular either. It just kind of sounds like a pretty bland drum kit. Thanks for checking out this video on recording drums with a single microphone. If this video helped you out, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to catch the rest of our videos on drum recording. You can also like the video and check out our social media links in the video description.